What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and today we are going to be discussing Trials of Osiris in Destiny 2. Now this is a very interesting topic of discussion because many of you guys watching have very different opinions about Trials of Osiris. Some of you are Trials Gods and farm ELO and just have gone flawless a million times and maybe even carry people through flawless runs for fun. Others of you have maybe completed it one or twice, gotten some loot, are interested in knowing what's going on in the upcoming trials, and some of you hate trials and have never gotten flawless and just hate going in there and versing tryhards who don't even need to be in there, but they're in there farming ELO, and it's just a very differentiating force within the community. However, no matter what your opinion is, you've got to admit that Trials of Osiris is one of the biggest game modes in Destiny. Just look at the Twitch views, it's insane. Every weekend, Destiny, despite being three years old, like completely surpasses so many other games in the Twitch directory. Thousands of people flock to the Destiny directory to watch people play Trials. So many people are interested in any tips about Trials, any tricks about Trials, what weapons are good, what armor builds you should use, what exotics are good, what builds to use. Trials is such a huge factor in Destiny and therefore, it's a very huge factor in Destiny 2. So, the question I'm sure a lot of you guys want to know is, is Trials returning in Destiny 2? Well, yes. Actually, no. Actually, maybe. <laughs> That's honestly the answer right now for Trials of Osiris in Destiny 2. It seems that Trials of Osiris is returning to Destiny 2 in some capacity. Now that could mean a remade, reimagined Trials of Osiris or a different game mode that takes a lot of inspiration from Trials of Osiris that has a Trials-like experience. Now this information is coming from a recent IGN interview with two people. Firstly, Luke Smith who is the game director of Destiny 2. Secondly, Mark Noseworthy, who is the project lead of Destiny 2. Now we're gonna start things off with Luke Smith's quote, which is, I can't imagine shipping Destiny 2 and not having a Trials-like experience there very soon. So that's some good news. He's saying I can't imagine shipping Destiny 2. That means it's going to be available very soon to launch and it's going to be available with the base game. No expansions required. And then says a Trials-like experience which goes on what I was saying about a reimagined, re-envisioned Trials experience. Now this is further exemplified, especially the launch window, by Mark Noseworthy who when asked when it will be available he said like launch window and then goes on to say uh, when asked will Trials of Osiris be available in the Osiris themed expansion now this is a big question because we actually know the just the pictures of the first two expansions and expansion one is literally the eye of Osiris and a lot of people thought considering Trials of Osiris actually arrived to destiny in an expansion with the House of Wolves, that maybe Trials of Osiris is going to have to be an expansion addition again in Destiny 2. Well, he, Mark Noseworthy said when asked about that, that it's going to be available way before that. So there you go. Trials of Osiris or the Trials-like experience will be available to play just with the base Destiny 2 game, you do not need the Osiris themed expansion to play it. Now that is quite good. Now the question that I'm sure is on some of your minds is, why are they so hesitant to just say, yeah, Trials will be with Destiny 2? Why are they saying, well, it'll launch around the release and it'll be before the expansion? Why don't they just say, yeah, Trials is coming with Destiny 2? And I would almost kind of agree that they should just say that to reduce confusion, but I think it's because Trials won't actually be available at launch, or the Trials-like experience won't be available at launch. Kind of like how the raid isn't technically, or I should say wasn't technically available at launch. You had to wait a full week of playing Destiny before the Vault of Glass was available. You could not play it for that first week. So technically, it wasn't available off launch. The Iron Banner was somewhat similar. They didn't launch Destiny and say, okay, here's the Iron Banner. These events, like Trials, like the Iron Banner, and again, even like the Raid, they come in waves. You get the Raid, and then in a later date, 
you get the hard mode raid, right? You get Iron Banner once a month, so it won't be there at launch, and trials will likely work the same way. It's likely not to be available at launch when you buy Destiny 2. You probably won't be able to boot up trials for that weekend or whenever it's going to be held, and likely you're going to have to wait maybe a month in that area before trials is unveiled and properly announced and introduced into the game, but that's just kind of how Destiny works. It'll also give Bungie a chance to do any emergency balances before the very competitive PvP game mode is unveiled. And that kind of makes sense. If there's some sort of crazy exploit especially, or glitch, we can get unlimited super or something like that. That's something Bungie is going to want to patch before they launch Trials of Osiris. Now the question then remains, okay, what will this be like? What will the Trials-like game mode be like? Well. It'll be like Trials. No, but what I'm really trying to say is what changes are coming to the Trials experience in Destiny 2. Well, Mark Noseworthy talks a little bit about that and says, quote, We've got some cool stuff planned for Trials that we're going to unveil later this year. So we don't want to give away too much. They're being pretty tight-lipped about things right now. However, there was a recent Reddit leak. Now, this is very interesting because it was leaked at the same day that the unveil happened. So this leak came out before we all got to see the big gameplay announcement, right? And this leaker said basically everything we found out in the gameplay announcement. So he said, yep, there's no more special weapons. It's now going to be kinetic, then energy, then power weapons and stuff like that. So stuff all of you guys know because of the gameplay event, but he was saying this stuff before it happened. So this was a legitimate leak. Now the one interesting part that we didn't really find out in the actual gameplay event was that he said, Trials of Osiris is gone, and it's now Trials of the Nine. Now this is very interesting, and this is why I was referring way back when, that Trials might be gone, and, now, and that's what Luke Smith said, is that there's going to be a Trials-like experience. It does make sense that, and this would tie into the fact that we see the Osiris logo, the Osiris symbol in the first expansion, is that there is no Trials of Osiris. It's now, again, according to this leak, Trials of the Nine. So what does this mean? Well, it means that the theme of Trials will stick true. So you're going to have an elimination event where you're going to have loot tied to this event, and that's really key, right? Trials wouldn't be trials without the chest going 9-0 and trying to get the chest at the lighthouse It would be very different and in fact pretty boring if you just played it for the sake of playing it and you got no Specific loot tied to it. So the new trials experience in destiny 2 trials of the nine is likely to go away from the traditional Osiris experience so you won't have these Egyptian themes probably it may be a totally different way that you earn these weapons and armor, these weapons and armor relating to the Nine this time in the Trials of the Nine. Perhaps they have a somewhat similar design to the Iron Banner, where wins will get you experience, but you don't actually have to go a certain amount and O oh to actually get the good loot. Now this is all speculation, but it is very important to talk about because again, if it's being called something completely different, then I don't think the traditional 9-0 chest at the end of the lighthouse will still be in Destiny 2. It's likely to still be a Trials-like experience, what Luke Smith said, so it's going to maintain the elimination wins matter aspect with loot tied to it, but it'll probably be a lot different than what we imagine Trials right now. Most importantly, it's very likely, like 99% chance, it's going to be 4v4. The entirety of the Crucible is going to be balanced in 4v4, so expect 3v3 to be a thing of the past. Another interesting change that is likely to come is the idea of revive tickets, where we had this when we were playing the Destiny 2 gameplay premiere, that in that elimination PvP game mode, we had all one revive ticket, so we could use it to revive someone else or get revived ourselves. This will hopefully bring down the revive spam that you can somewhat see in Trials of Osiris right now. 
Another big change, and honestly to a lot of you watching, the biggest change is the introduction of guided games, where you can search for clans to play with, essentially a built-in LFG slash matchmaking system in Destiny 2. A lot of you guys who haven't been able to play Trials of Osiris, who couldn't get into an LFG match or who just didn't even bother because of the toxicity, Guided games will give you a chance that you never before had to play the Trials-like experience in Destiny 2. And that is, again, a huge factor and very exciting for making it more accessible. And so guys, that's what we know about Trials of Osiris right now in Destiny 2. Apparently it's called Trials of the Nine, expect something with the theme of Trials of Osiris, but to be different in terms of function and likely loot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting. Now if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. Now if you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.